And as we've previously reported, Downtown State College is allowing free parking in order to provide a boost to local business this holiday season. The question is, however, has it worked? Our David Kaplan spoke to a small business owner and shoppers about how the free parking is giving downtown businesses a boost. David? That's right, Jordan. Well, the State College Borough worked with the Downtown State College Improvement District to make a parking free at parking meter spots and at parking garages from December 17th to Christmas Day. And you can see the green lights and that raised bar right there for cars to go through. Now, small business owners and shoppers tell me this is making a difference. Shoppers say free parking in downtown State College not only encourages more shopping, it makes it easier for people because now they can park close to a store without paying and load up their car with items they bought. That might be big. I think it's great. It certainly helps me to come downtown. Oh, it definitely encourages it. Uh, I've been downtown shopping three times in the past week, uh, which is obviously up from um, you know what I normally do. Jeff Burglar, owner of Appalachian Outdoors, says he appreciates the borough and the Downtown State College Improvement District working with small business owners to help encourage more shopper traffic. It's undoubtedly a great thing, and I think it does, you know, bring people downtown. Roger Doherty, State College resident, says this helps keep downtown competitive with other shops throughout the borough. Any other business that you go into to town around town, they have free parking, and there's just not free parking downtown. He says that small businesses downtown need as much help as they can get. Burglar, owner of Appalachian Outdoors, says he's noticed some cars that stay parked in spots longer than three hours, so he says for next year it would be a good idea to have some type of monitoring system and make it a four-hour parking limit for cars in downtown. In State College, David Kaplan, WTAJ News.